Hi. We're gonna say happy. Okay. Booby. Okay. Birthday. Okay. One. Say birthday. Sorry. Say one, two, three. Happy, happy birthday to you. Okay. Happy birthday to you. You shaking the camera. Friday, what's going on with you, vlog? Or all of you out there in vlogland, how's it going? Happy Friday. I have been enjoying the responses to the video that came out today. The one that's titled, He Accused He Accused Us of Having Roaches. If you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. You know, I was thinking like, man, y'all, if you don't know, I edit my own videos. I edit, I produce edit all that good stuff on my own and I love to edit even though I probably shouldn't be doing that with my time I love to edit it's just fun to create something and then put it together at the end it's like wow anyway happy Friday how you doing all is well just got done uh, eating my lunch slash dinner when I tell you listen that little plan I was on <laughs> It is done. Whew. Please, Lord. Lord, help me. Enjoy your weekend. Be safe. Just found out my sister got COVID, so please take care of yourself. Please take care of yourself. It is not a joke. Me and my family, we had COVID. And my daughter was asymptomatic. And so was my, my, my son. He probably had it too. And my daughter had it because she tested positive. But I was not asymptomatic. I had symptoms. So please be careful. Take care of yourself and your kids. I'm see you. So, all right. Time to get to work. Peace. Happy Saturday. It is oh, booty. It is currently 11:45, and we are about to. Oh, sorry. Yeah. We're about to eat breakfast. We had an early start this morning, and I have a special stop. Booby. I have a special surprise. We're gonna be trying Veggie Brunch, which is a vegan-based company here in Chicago. And we got I'm vanilla hungry. waffles, and you got chocolate <laughs> mocha waffles and vegan sausage. We're gonna try it on camera, and we'll be right back. I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. He's hungry, he's hungry. I get a vegan sausage too. Oh no, we gotta do it. Let's see. Wow, 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 Sasha, interesting. Okay. Mm. The waffles look beautiful. Yes, they are. I don't know what she put These in. are so nice and soft. I don't know what she did. My, my, you guys actually have to come on. I have to serve on it. She didn't be allowed to make the syrup. Soft. I need these big. I need my storage. I need to get my two or three. Alright, so. I have. The vanilla, the classic vanilla waffles, and the vegan sausage. When I say, okay, listen, I don't eat waffles, right? Because waffles usually be crispy, and they just don't work for me. But I don't know how she got this texture. I don't know what she did, but these are like, um, bounce, like, like a bouncy, like a cake. I don't know what you describe it. Like a Belgian waffle, but softer, even softer than that. And the flavor is, oh, I, I, I don't understand. I don't, I don't know. But this is a, um, this is a small recipe. The company is called Veggie Brunch, based in Chicago. They do weekend waffles, so we ordered it, and then you can go pick it up. She offers red velvet uh, waffles, the mocha, yeah, the mocha waffles. The, it's a few, so check out veggiebrunch.com and get you some if you're local in the Chicago area. But we're about to slam, and my husband's gonna show you what he, his waffles look like. <laughs> the texture, look at that. Do you oh, wow. see God, how it, shaking. so you can see the texture. Do you see that, that texture? Look at that. And oh my God. Texture. You have the chocolate mocha waffles. Yeah. 
and the veggie, no, um, the ve vegan sausage and the oranges from Veggie Brunch as well. Whoa. And it looks delicious. I'm about to throw down. All right, we about to get down here. <gasps> there he is. Hey, Daddy. Look at this texture. Yeah. Insane. Oh, there she go. There she go, Dad. There she go. Happy Sunday. Oh. I was not feeling good at all yesterday. So today, I kind of, well, no. I stayed in bed much longer than I usually would because I have allergies. If you're watching for the first time or discovering me for the first time, I have seasonal allergies and they kicked my butt last night. But I hope that today, and not just today, any other day, whether it be during the week, that you learn something that you didn't know yesterday. Or using, or you've been, <clears throat> or you've been enlightened further. Welcome back to Conversations with, with the you. Tired, with the Tired. The T stands for Tired. Mommy, tired. Mommy. We're tired of trying to figure. Ooh, they oh. always fight it. He the way he went These girls been fighting all day. Yeah, this here test, folks. This is interesting. <laughs> We took this test and it's- Why you showing like that? Because this is the best way to, to see what I'm talking about. It's called the five love language test. But the, the love language is between me and you anyway. So you mean share, no, share mine? No, I'm going to share. Yeah, so. It's nobody else's business. Exactly. But, but it's, it's interesting though. But they have the test for couples, singles, men, military, children, and teens. So if you are in any of those categories, which you are in one of those categories. Military? Yeah. Oh, then you didn't take the one. Where's the one for women at? They got one for men. They don't, they have one for men. What? That's a rip off. <laughs> and what about the one for the grandparents? They don't need one. They don't need they, 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 they need They need love language. Mm. Why do men have to have one and women don't? That's interesting because men are more complex. That's the problem. Me? Yeah, you the military. I'm the man. Top of the morning. It's Tuesday. How you doing? Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. Yesterday, I don't know if I ever showed this, but I read Patrice Washington's book, Redefine Wealth for Yourself, that book. And she talked about this company that had these like template charts. So when you have like, you know those charts when you have gold? And I went on the website and I downloaded them, it was free. Free. And it looked like this. So you have one for mortgage. So what it is is when you have when you pay something off, you have the payoff date, the target, and then as you start paying off, you color in the section, and then eventually you get to 100 percent that the picture be colored. So yeah, mortgage, retirement, Roth IRA, side hustle, vacation fund, new car fund, car loan fund, which is what I'm using it for, car loan fund, I'm paying my car off, I'm just tired of a car note, and I don't want a mortgage. I don't want to pay anybody for the rest of my life. No taxes, but that's it. They have a debt free one, emergency, savings one, medical bills one, net worth one. I printed these out at Office Depot because the paper is uh, different quality. Student loan, tax bill. And I think that's pretty much it. So I really urge you to try these out. Go to winningtowealth.com. I'm not being paid to say this. I have my bag, which I call my debt eliminator container. We doing this, y'all. I was stressing out because I'm moving next year <clears throat> in March. 
And anytime you move, there's so much. But moving to a different state is a different beast. And it's not like I'm just by myself. But it's like so many different things. So I went online and joined some groups to get some suggestions, advice. I have a... Uh, uh, somebody I know that that exactly that's exactly in the city I'm moving to and so she was nice enough to uh, you know let me ask her questions and um, I'll be able to reach out to her for more specifics so I have I do have a few connections like two connections down to where I'm going but it still just feels overwhelming we have two cars two kids our stuff still gotta get there gotta get the cars there it's just like man but I'm not gonna stress let me go the yeah let me go Look what I got. why 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 when I tell you my anxiety was on level 1000. <laughs> the lady was reading to me the side effects, the possible side effects. And every time she got to down to the next one, my heart went lower and lower and lower and lower and lower and lower. And lower. And so I almost walked out of there. So you know what, God got me. Whatever meant to happen is going to be. I can't control it anyway. So. I'm about to finish work and I'm monitoring myself to make sure everything is everything. But yeah, I got my vaccine. Happy, happy Thursday. It is thankful Thursday. I actually didn't even realize it was Thursday. <laughs> I was, it felt like it was the midweek, but it's not. The week is almost over. How you doing? Anyway. Today I woke up, my arm's still sore because the vaccine, and anytime I lift it, it hurts. Like, what the heck is in that? I've been listening to my content that really stirs me up. Lisa Nichols and all those folks, Eric Thomas, man. And so I sit in this room. By my lonesome. I sit in this room by myself and I think about my identity. Do I believe in the vision I have set forth for myself? Do I believe that it's possible for me? Do I truly believe that in my heart of hearts? And I always hear that your identity is always the difference between where you are now and where you want to be later. Or who you are now and who you want to be later. And so, am I on track to accomplish the things I say I want? Do I believe that it's possible? Because that's a big thing. We can talk all day about doing this and doing that but with everything all the education I have all the resources do I truly believe it's possible for me and I do however what do you what do you do when you own this, this path and it doesn't necessarily look like what you think I don't know why I'm telling y'all this, but again, it's my life in 365, so a year from today, I'll watch this and realize how far I've come. Yeah. Your identity. Who do you see yourself as? Figure it out.